be a bit of a sucker for a pop culture reference in the name of a beer. Evil Genius Brewing, they have a huge tendency to do that uh, with their beers like I Love Lamp, I'll Have What She's Having, Santa, I Know Him, things like that. Then you have other ones like, um, uh, was it Ruckus Brewing's uh, Hoptimus Prime, obviously a Transformers reference. So of course, when I see a pop culture reference on the shelf, and it's from a brewery that I enjoy, and it's a style that I enjoy, you know I'm gonna pick it up. This one, of course, is gonna have a clip to go along with it, and you'll see why. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so <laughs> scared! Of course, if you grew up in my generation, you are intimately familiar with the ridiculousness of that clip, and that apparently the, um, the episode in question was supposed to deal with speed and not caffeine pills, but they thought speed was a little too hardcore for the audience, but whatever. Anyway, Funky Buddha Brewing, I'm so excited, I'm so scared. Imperial Coffee Stout, you get the caffeine right there. This is again part of their Little Buddha Small Batch series, which um, I think most of the uh, Funky Buddha beers I've reviewed on here have been part of the uh, Little Buddha series. Uh, hey there, tiger. Lose control and like it with a little I'm so excited, I'm so scared. This ferociously coffeeed imperial stout is just like grabbing a booth at the max than hunkering down for a study sesh with a big pot of joe. This coffee is so fresh it makes keep alert look like candy. Rock and roll, you ain't seen nothing yet. So, I, I love the artwork on this one too. This one is fantastic. And um, at the place where I bought this, they actually had a one bottle limit and I'm glad I picked it up when I did because the next day I went there and it was gone. So, um, thankfully I managed to go to another location and uh, find another bottle that I was able to pick up for a friend uh, to have taken back to New Jersey for him. Now, I usually don't read a lot of reviews on the beers that I review um, on like Beer Advocate or Rate Beer before I actually do the review. Um, I read a few on this one and opinions seem to be mixed when um, comparing this up against uh, Funky Buddha's Last Snow. A lot of people saying, oh, this pales in comparison to Last Snow. Others said, oh, this, this, you know, goes right up against it as being just as good. So let's see what this has going for it. First of all, nice and dark, as you would expect. Nice bit of head right there. Oh, perfect, sweet coffee aroma. Just the way I like it. Oh, that is really that is a coffee sweetness that I don't get in a lot of coffee stouts. Um, maybe more so in coffee milk stouts, but not straight up coffee stouts, and definitely not imperial coffee stouts. This one is 10% uh, ABV, and honestly, the booziness is really, really well masked in this. I seem to be saying that a lot lately in some of these beers. Either my palate is just getting more used to the higher alcohol beers, or these breweries are just really masking that alcohol level really well. So you don't, mm, you don't scare away some people that may be trying to be adventurous, but aren't necessarily as into the high alcohol levels. So you don't scare them away with too much of that alcohol burn. Mm. Just the right amount of bitterness at first, but it mixes with that sweetness really, really well. Um, if anything, I'm almost... The aftertaste of bitterness is almost a little bit too much for me. Um, but the sweetness of this stout, I, I would have thought upon tasting this that this could have been a milk stout, um, an imperial milk stout nonetheless. But very, very nice. Uh, yeah, if, if I had one complaint, it's just that the bitterness is a little bit too sharp for me. Other than that, I really enjoy this. Really, really happy with this. Um, Ranking it up against Last Snow, for me, it's almost unfair just because I'm such a fan of coconut and Last Snow freaking nailed that for me. So I'll put Last Snow above this, but with that caveat that I'm, I'm not going to do the pun. I'm a big fan of coconut. Yeah, you know where the pun was going to be with that one. So that is it for the last review of the year. I'm so excited. I'm so scared from Funky Buddha brewing out of Oakland Park. Florida, 10% ABV, part of their Little Buddha Small Batch series. Next time you see me, it'll be 2017, and hopefully we will not have lost any more celebrities at that point. That, I'll see you guys for the next review. Happy New Year.